Welcome to this shortwave radio channel. Once again, looking at the XH Data D109. One of the things about this radio is that it has long wave. So what you hear uh, over here is a long wave, non-directional beacon. Now I'll be doing more tests as uh, less and less beacons are around, so it's uh, more difficult to kind of find some of the beacons. I'll be using a radio in single sideband and pinpointing some really weak ones and try to listen to them on this radio following that uh, find so that maybe we'll see how it's performing. On 407 kilohertz it seems to perform okay, I mean it's receiving that non-directional beacon but um, it's you know to test it you really need to have several signals and to have uh, of course compare it with other radios but it does have long wave if you are uh, wondering why right now this is more medium wave but it's a long wave band on the radio uh, it starts at 153 at the bottom so if you go at the bottom of the radio it goes at 153 and moves all the way up to 513 so 153 is the lower part and of course if you're in Europe this means you can tune in some of the medium wave uh, broadcast stations that are left um, on the station. So we'll be checking out what uh, we can also get. I don't know how sensitive it is especially when you get to the lower part around the 150, 160 uh, kilohertz. It'll be something to check out uh, for the XH Data D109 receiver. But uh, overall Except for the uh, overload with the uh, outdoor uh, antennas, it's a, you know kind of a decent radio. Has great sound, uh, and uh, the uh, the weight of the radio. I said it was a little heavy, it has to do with the magnet on the speaker of the radio. That's why it has pretty good sound for such a small speaker. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.